Welcome back to my channel, Maria Cafetsis, Luxury Real Estate Broker with Douglas Solomon Real Estate. And today I want to cover the market trends, both in New York and in Southeast Florida. And uh, that's the infamous question that everybody's asking, what's going on with the market? So I crunched some numbers to give you guys an idea of what's going on in both markets. Uh, so starting in New York, I'm going to start on Long Island, Nassau County, as far as available listings, meaning what's currently on the market, uh, under contract, meaning what's currently under contract waiting to close, and of course, closed sales. So the under contract and the closed sales, I am going uh, back as far as January. This way I can give you a realistic idea of what's been happening since kind of the pandemic hit. Um, also, what's available could be before January, but it's what's currently available and still on the market. So starting in New York, in Nassau County, even though we're hearing there's no inventory, um, we have 440 I'm sorry, 4,468 listings available on Long Island in Nassau County alone. On, in Suffolk, we have 4,504 available listings. So we have, you know, almost 8,500 homes, condos available for purchase on Long Island, which is unbelievable. In Nassau County, the highest uh, on the market listing is 45 million in Great Neck. And in Suffolk County, the highest listing on the market is 39 million in Southampton. The next one under that in Huntington Bay is 22 million. So those are currently on the market in Nassau and Suffolk as the highest uh, listings out there. In Queens available, we have 3,362 listings, again, available for sale today. Um, the highest is actually a lot for 10 million. It's a 22 by 100 lot, but they're claiming it's worth 10 million. It's on the market for 10 million. I don't think it's gonna sell for that. Um, but the next realistic, just a single family house that's on the market, the highest uh, price point right now is in Malba, and that's listed at five million four hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars so and if you remember i just sold in malba and i work in malba so if you're interested definitely give me a call um so under contract since january that's a very infamous question are houses selling are people buying people are going crazy to buy right now so in nassau county we had 402 contracts um under contract since january 2020 um, of that, what's currently under contract, the highest price point that's currently under contract, again, this could have went under contract January 1st, or it could have went under contract July 1st, but it's currently under contracts. So we have 402 in Nassau, 385 in Suffolk, and 332 in Queens. Going back to that, uh, the highest price point on the market right now is in Sands Point, which is 12 million three hundred and ninety five thousand. In Suffolk, it's in Watermill for 5.25 million. And in Queens, there's a 23 family on the market for 27.5 million. But the one that actually is in contract, the highest price point in contract right now, is in Forest Hills for 2.499. Now, these are the list prices that I gave you. We don't know what the close prices will be until, of course, they are closed. But those are the highest price points listed that are in contract and sold which is a big you know key factor here since again closings since january 1st 2020 nassau county closed 1 million um, i'm sorry 1975 homes condos co-ops the highest price point that closed since january 1st is 4.9 million in manhasset in suffolk county 2,769 homes have closed, which is awesome. Uh, the highest sold price was in Quag for 16.4 million. And in Queens, 699 properties closed since January 1st. Uh, a 37 family, which was for 18.9 million actual closed price. And in Forest Hills, the real like single family house for 2.4 for eight million that's the close price so inventory guys it's out there if you're looking this is the time to do it because the interest rates are super low it is a seller's market if you're a seller looking to sell this is the time to take advantage absolutely new york market so that's good i kept it under five minutes i was hoping to keep it under five minutes and i'm going to go over florida market right now uh, and I'm going to divide it similarly between Miami, Broward, and Palm Beach. And again, I'm going to go 
what's totally available for sale today, what's under contract since January 1st, which may still be under contract from January or it may be from July, and what actually sold. You're gonna be like floored by these numbers. They're unbelievably larger than uh, the New York numbers. So in Miami, available currently, and again, this is condo, townhouses, single family homes mixed together, uh, no hotel properties. So um, Miami, 18,339 on the market available listings. In Broward, 11,107 available listings. And in Palm Beach, 10,124 available listings. So that's huge. In Miami, the highest uh, priced home on the market right now is 45 million in Coral Gables. In Broward, the highest priced home right now on the market is 35 million in Hillsborough. And in Palm Beach, in Manalapan, Palm Beach County, but Palm Beach, um, 137,500,000, and that's guys, 33 bedroom, 38 full baths, and 14 half baths. I don't know what you can possibly do with all that land, but it is oceanfront and it is on the market for 137,500,000. Um, under contract since January 1st, Miami had 4,004 contracts. Some of them are still under contract. Um, the highest priced home currently under contract in Miami is on Star Island for listing price. Again, these are not closed prices because we won't know until they actually close, but list price, Star Island, highest price in pending, which means it's under contract, 22.9 million list price in Broward. Um, there's 3,350 contracts and the highest price in contract is 12 million in Fort Lauderdale. And in Palm Beach, in North Palm Beach, we have a $16,950,000 home and that's under contract. And there's 2,286 properties under contract there. And what closed? Uh, in Miami, we had 13,000 921 closings since January 1st. Highest one uh, listed at 49.9 million, sold 37 million point five, so 37 million 500,000. Broward had 16,674 closings. Highest price uh, sale, 20 million 500,000, and that was listed for 29 million. So that was a nice negotiation there as well. And in Palm Beach, uh, closed 17,191 properties, and uh, the highest sold was 44.9 million uh, list price, and it sold for 43 million. So as you can see, the markets are healthy, both in New York and Florida. The inventory is a bit different in both states. Now, in Florida, you have a very transitional state. In New York, you don't have such a transitional state. Pretty much everybody stays in New York that comes from New York, stays in New York, and that's it. So very interesting stuff. If you want to know some additional details, please reach out to me uh, either in New York or in Florida, 516-885-2525 or 305-773-5994. You can also email me at Right Realtor, the number four and the letter U at gmail.com. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.